The 2021 Land Rover Discovery has Land Rover and Jaguar's newest infotainment system called Pivi Pro. You get this new 11.4 inch high res touchscreen running an entirely new software system. Let's dive in and see what's up. Right off the bat, you'll notice these three main tiles for your navigation, your easily used and most often used apps. However, you can go in there and you can actually change the layout to a more app icon view here. Pretty traditional, simple view. I prefer the fancier icon view. Makes it feel more luxurious with the colors and the larger, larger icons. On the left, you have your main navigation bar. So things like vehicle settings, you can go into and control here. Really love how smooth all the animations are. That's a big improvement. You have your radio, this, you got your, your source changer here, Sirius, AM, etc. Your phone, it's a pretty basic layout here. And then the navigation itself, which is relatively good, though I think the actual voice command system could be better. There's something left to be wanted there. Land Rover doesn't skimp too much on the intriguing features. You can see I said Land Rover there, which activated the voice assistant. That gets annoying after so long, but you have some eco data right here. Looks nice. You have your little discovery in the corner. You have four by four information, which you know you can go through and adjust your modes here real easily and nicely. You go back to this guy here. A low traction launch you can select right here which is pretty neat and just keep on rolling through there you see a little vehicle dimensions so that's interesting and in that you can see all of the dimensions of your vehicle your breakover angle approach angle departure angle uh, something that you'd only get in something like a Land Rover the last intriguing feature of note here are your cameras so you have some pretty interesting 360 cameras for parking, but there are also off-road cameras that uh, can help you see the trail if you're really close to something on the side or right in front a lot better, which super appreciated and nice. Plus, your invisible front-end camera right here that basically makes the front end of your car uh, invisible, so you can see directly what's underneath you, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Let's jump back on down to your climate controls here, which are also pretty fancy and new Land Rover. So you can see you have these two main knobs here that control the temperature, but you can press this knob in and you get your heated seat controls, which are not exactly the most obvious to see right off the bat. Or you could pull and now you can adjust your fan speed like so. Or you can just go back to auto. And then on top of that, you have a little hood in hidden nook right there pop open that panel and you have a nice little place to store whatever popping over to your instrument cluster we have a customizable cluster here you can see this first view has the tachometer in the center with speedometer right there and two flanking media things on your side you can change those but you can also change the entire layout in general so let's go on over to how you do that layout and we'll take a look at some of the options so here is your two dial layout like so you can also go with a full map which here let's take a quick look at that boom there's your full map pretty all-encompassing there and then the last couple here you have a media layout which is not all that useful and a driver assistance layout which is slightly more useful if you're on the highway and want to get a good idea of how the driver assistance systems are functioning.